Berger Chevrolet has been serving West Michigan's automotive needs since 1925. For nearly 100 years, the Berger family and employees have been dedicated to supporting small businesses, nonprofits, and charities in our community. Through their Berger Gives Back campaign, employees have volunteered, raised awareness, provided funds, and supported locally owned businesses right here in West Michigan. Berger Chevrolet is proud to partner with Fox 17 to sponsor We're Open West Michigan. Learn more at BergerChevy.com. And if you're a fan of seafood, you know there are a few things better than visiting a coastal town and ordering up some of the freshest fish, clams, and oysters. If you want to get close to that freshness here in Michigan, especially when it comes to oysters, you'll want to pay a visit to the Carolina Low Kitchen in East Grand Rapids. It's our latest feature in our Taste of the Town series. Take a look. Carolina was kind of born out of the concept of bringing oysters to Grand Rapids. We, we love oysters. We wanted to find a way to a niche to bring that to everyone as opposed to go into one of those, uh, into a higher end restaurant and you're only going there for a special occasion. We wanted it to be something where it was every day, anybody could walk in and feel like you're going to a coast and getting some oysters and, and not feeling like you're breaking the bank doing it. Knowing the Carolina coastline and doing that low country, there's oysters in everything and that gives it that freshness too. We have all that fresh seafood that comes with it as well so we we do a fresh catch we make we have a lot of salmon and such on our on our menu so we you know brought in those oysters we have different varietals of them and we do them for a happy hour special every day we uh, have oyster monday where we do dollar oysters where they're raw dollar oysters but then we also wanted them that accessibility uh, for those people who'd never had them we're in michigan we're not we're not in in south carolina so uh, we also do them grilled so we have all the different butters and flavors. You can do them fried, you can get buffalo sauce on them. You know, try something new. That's where we kind of started from. And then from there, we've built on that. We keep our theme going with uh, trying to stay really true to our menu. My, my partners and I, we started small. We'd all kind of known each other through different ways or worked together in different ways. So coming together and saying, we love this, let's do this, um, was really fun and we're, we have such a bond that now this has grown over the last four and a half years to become what it is. You know, if you go down south or you're going to the coastline, I mean, you can walk down to the, down to the dock or down to the, and you can just, you know, get, you can get a big old bag of them, you can shuck them yourself. You come to Michigan and you're not gonna have that because no matter what, you're importing them. You know, there's, there's no way around it or you know, you're bringing them uh, from somewhere else to get them. So the cost factor, you know, around, around here would normally be higher no matter what, just because of the inability to, to get them so easily, but we bring in, you know, uh, shipments three to four times a week, and our oysters are always so fresh that it, which we so we try to make sure that people are people realize that, which is already really nice because we've we've built our brand around that, um, so that people know when they come in here they're not getting something that's been sitting on a shelf for two or three weeks or whatever else. It's, it's coming in fresh. It's going to you fresh. We shuck them fresh in front of people, uh, which is always really fun too. And people we having built that into our bar so that people can watch our bartenders just here you wanted a half dozen oysters you got a half dozen oysters right in front and we shucked them for you. We try to bring in three east coast oysters all the time and then we usually have a west coast oyster. There's such a range on your palate for oysters so we try to make sure that we are giving people a broad range of options. My favorite thing to do to get people to get really excited about oysters we have an oyster shooter and uh, you know you take a, a raw oyster it's in a shot glass we've got a homemade uh, house infused jalapeno vodka we do a little cocktail sauce and lemon and mix the whole thing up and you shoot it right down so you're kind of it's like here's your introduction you know <laughs> have it have a little flavor um, so that's my favorite way to get people to try uh, to try something new try an oyster of course not everybody are drinkers and want to try that so usually our butters are the best way to start if you haven't ever had an oyster before um, the bacon gorgonzola oysters are phenomenal you know who doesn't love bacon so <laughs> Bacon and butter and cheese. I mean, <laughs> come on. So we we put those in the in the broiler and you know get them nice and uh, nice and warm and. 
people get to try them that way too. Our menu is pretty extensive. We do try to stay very true to our, our brand. We try to stay really true to that low country feel, which for those who don't know is, is a lot less of the Creole and the heavy spice and a lot more of the sweeter and lighter salty coastal flavor. So we have a lot of fish on our menu, but our fried chicken is phenomenal. Uh, our salmon is to die for. If you're wanting to try something that is really authentic and really true to, to those southern roots, then we're the, definitely the place to go. Yep, I could've, Down the hatch. Yeah, I could have done another dozen of those. Carolina Low Country Ooh. Kitchen, located at 2213 Wealthy Street in East Grand Rapids. Find their hours, check out their full menu at carolinalck.com. Coming up on